Hello and welcome everyone to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. What is going on? How is everyone doing? Thank you very much for joining. Right off the bat, if you guys could please hit the like button, subscribe to me if you haven't already, uh, go check out my social media links down below in the description for those of you interested. Thanks again everyone for tuning in. Just waiting for everyone to start joining in. Alright, we got 20-ish people watching. How's it going? As you can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Matt Kenseth's hard wreck he had this year at the 2017 Auto Club 400 at Auto Club Speedway. I know it looks like on the surface one of the easier ones I've done recently, but it's been one of the bigger wrecks to happen so far this year. Aside from maybe Matt Crafton's flip, so I've gotten a bunch of requests to do it already. Here is his number 20 peak car. Toyota Camry. No, I believe I got from Outlaw Graphics Racing. Hold on for a second. Sorry, I had to go break up a cat fight, literally. Plug my phone in so it stops beeping at me. Shut up. Alrighty, so. For those of you that haven't seen the wreck that I'm going to be trying to recreate, I'm pulling it up one second. Here we are, thanks to NASCAR TV for the capture. This is one of the best quality versions I could find. Alright, so I believe he gets turned by Truex, goes towards the inside wall, starts to correct it, but then as his car is starting to face forward again, he slams the inside wall driver's side first. That little part that juts out for the safety vehicles. Had the breath knocked out him. Trying to get by the 42. Yeah, how come no one is concerned about him taking concussions? Because between that and that hard hit at Phoenix back to back, even though the Hans device is in there, you can't tell me that your head isn't whiplashing around when you hit the wall that hard. So how come only everyone's only concerned about Junior for concussions? They should be concerned for every driver. Alright, yeah, it's definitely Truex that gets into him. So I need to spin out a little bit towards the inside wall, but then correct it and start turning it back towards the right. But then still have the momentum carrying me into the wall. Jeez, how many restarts did Kyle Larson have to dominate at the end of that Auto Club race before he finally won it? Yeah, they really need to shave off those. You can see how this wall sticks how out. they angle like that thankfully there's a safer barrier there I think a lot smarter design plan all my Patrice O'Neill clips I'm listening to <laughs> think a lot smarter design plan would be to have the backstretch wall the inside one start a little bit closer to the track but be completely flat like this and then when you need a a little entrance for the safety vehicles just have a little opening like this so nothing angled outward just kind of and then have them tucked behind the opening so we'll still have that little part sticking out but it's not sticking out towards the track make it at any sharper of an angle alright so I know the game screen is paused for you guys for a second yeah I already showed you his car it's going to be using the Daytona 500 car set because I'm sure there's the proper cars 
for the Auto Club 400 already out for the 2017 race, but I'm too lazy to download them all right now. So, oops, not championship. I'm getting excited to get the first look at Texas with the repave. Alright, let's jump on in. What kind of videos do I watch in my spare time? Same ones that showed up in the related NASCAR racing ones and Patrice O'Neill on Opie and Anthony I've been binging. Alright, let's go. Let's see if Truex is anywhere towards the front. He's not. So we gotta turn that up a little bit. Right, let's see this car set. Let's see if this one's any differently. Right, I'm gonna need to turn his ratings up a little bit if I'm gonna have that aspect be on point. Turning Truex Jr.'s ratings up a little bit. This is qualifying. There you go, that's why. Is everyone else 40, 60? Nope. That's why he's so far towards the back. And we're gonna make up some stats for Truex. That's why he was so t far towards the back. I think this is one of the custom paint cars I downloaded that I added to the... the 2016... car... Uh, yeah, car set I had. This is my hybrid one. There we go. Just made up some stats for... Truex Jr.'s stuff. Let's see if he's closer towards the front this time. If not, we're just going to go anyway. Drivers, start your engines! Alright, he's closer towards the front. do this. Where's Truex? There he is. He's closer towards the front, but still not as close. We're just going to use McMurray, it looks like. Similar-ish looking paint scheme from a chopper or from the blimp. A little bit similar colors, red and black or orangish and black and yellow. We want Kenza to be closer to the front. First of all, we need to see if there's a spot on the back stretch of this version of Auto Club that juts out in the same spot in real life. Why are they all going so slow? Oops. Alright, that's the first problem, I think. I think there should be an opening somewhere right here that juts out too, based on the replay I saw. Because he hit the first one, and this one seems a little too far off the turn for this to be the one that he hit, but I'll try again.
Well, no. See, that's why you don't drive one-handed at a track you can barely drive at two-handed. I'm just doing it anyway. I'm going anyway. I really need to download a new version of Auto Club or fix the settings on this one. This just seems like I'm driving on ice. I have traction control on and even so it just feels like I'm driving on ice. And the AI are only able to take the turns at like 120, 115. Which is definitely not accurate. Yeah, look at this. They're just like crawling through the turns. I need to fix this version of Auto Club. Well, I spun all the way around instead of back across towards the right, but similar looking hit into the wall, even though the opening right there isn't jutting out like it should be. <coughs> so yeah, he definitely hits that first opening. When he should hit that second one. So either I'm going to need to find a newer version of Auto Club to where this is jutting out as well, or I'm going to have to cheat a little bit and wait just a tad bit longer out of the turn and do it on this one. And with that spin, I was trying my, all my hardest to slam on the brakes and turn back to the right. I'll have to keep trying, but I might have to turn the grip up a little bit so I'm able to turn back towards the right while I'm spinning. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on in the with the AI in this version of Auto Club. Did you seriously try to call me an idiot when you spelled it indigent? Oh, the irony. Yeah, see, I'm just like flying past them in the turns. Take that, Jimmy Johnson. The Auto Club big one, due to my shitty driving. No, I didn't use a setup. I usually don't, but yeah, I guess I should probably start. That would probably make things way easier for me. That is a good idea. I might have... I don't think I messed with any of the AI settings, but I might have messed with this version of the track a little too much, because I've used this version of the track for multiple reenactments, so... Might just have to delete this one at some point, just re-download it and see if that's any better. But just like I said, I don't think I tweaked anything in the AI section, so I'm just wondering why they're going so slow. And they seem to be crawling too, even when I had the... The difficulty is at 78 right now, but even when I had it higher, they seem to be a lot... Way easier than they should be.
There are 2017 cars now, just not at the time I made this car set, and I've been too lazy to download all of them individually since. So I'm just making do with this one. Instead of getting spun, I'm gonna maybe just try to like have the car behind me rear end me. Yeah, we need to be going way faster. We need to be going way faster. I'm turning Truex Jr.'s strength up as well as the AI strength. Truex Jr. Needs to be closer to the front. Alright, let's see what that does. Save. Let's turn this up to like 90 now. Or 88, since it's saying that for auto. see where he's at now. And yes, I'm aware there's 2016 cars in here. I had to improvise with the car set when I was initially making it. Alright, he's like in 10th or 12th. He's closer, but still not quite up. Actually, that's about right. Thanks to everyone just joining in to this video slash live stream. I'm currently attempting to recreate Matt Kenseth's hard crash he had at the Auto Club 400 this year. If you guys don't mind dropping a like if you're enjoying the video so far. As we continue on with yet another attempt. I don't see Truex Jr. anywhere near here. I thought he was a little bit further up in the field than he is. I guess he's a few more rows back. Alright, let's see if adjusting the AI strength helped at all. I'm being a little faster in the turns. Oh, that was my fault. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to turn the grip up for this reenactment. Because I can barely take the turn without spinning out with traction control on let alone purposefully spinning out in the backstretch, being able to correct, overcorrect, and then slam back into the wall at the right angle on command, at the right spot. So definitely going to exit out to the track INI file, because I need to tweak some stuff. Bye-bye. Another guest invited to the block party. Alright, where is what I was looking for? Oh yeah. Track I and I file. Alright, so here we are in the NASCAR Racing 2003 season folder. Tracks. Auto Club 2014. Let's see what the tr the AI settings look like. Track AI Excel Fuel Use. I think maybe this is why. This is a little bit lower than it should be. Turn that up a little bit. And the grip seems about normal. Maybe turn that up a tad. Alright, where's my grip? Where is my grip? Asphalt grip. How is it up at 1.7 and it still seems like it's super slick? I know the Gen 6 mod uses cup physics, obviously. So I shouldn't have to change any of these. Why is this... Try turning it to 9. Why does it still seem way more slick than it should be? Alright, 
notes. Now that that's done, let's load the game back up and see if that did anything. All right, it's currently loading up now. All right, let's see if that made any difference. Rex Jr. is an A closer towards the front than I want him to be. Let's see if this helps to spread the field out a little bit and getting them to be a little faster in the turns. It still seems like I don't have as, have as much grip as I should. Arca crashes, that's a good idea. Just that the car sets are kind of scattered about. Shoot, forgot to shift into third. Hey! Knock it off. Alright, that definitely helped. Nope. It's not even worth a replay. Just need to do better next time. Chat's frozen. Thanks for letting me know. go. Are we dropping frames or is it just my laptop being laggy? Alright, it says zero drop frames. By the way, I'm picking up a giant ethernet cable today. So I can hook directly up to our internet box, and I read that everywhere I read that's way better for live streaming purposes, obviously, than doing it wirelessly, like I've been doing with my uh, desktop that has the wireless receiver in it. So hopefully, this should be the last stream with any internet issues, and hopefully, the quality should be way better after this live stream as well. Not as much pixelation during high motion. Which is just something that happens with live streaming, but not so much if you have a really decent connection. Aw, oh, Keslowski, you bastard. Oh, I really need to pay attention. Alright, so turning the grip up helped. It did. There are a lot... I have a lot more grip in the turns, kind of, <laughs> as I fail at driving. All right, next. Drivers, start your engines. Yeah, I think the newer cars have. So I'll actually focus more this time. By the way, I might. Well, I probably will be. It just matters when. I don't work later tonight, so I'll be doing an iRacing live stream later and or another Can I Recreate if I can figure out what I want to do in the meantime slash get everything set up. Shit. I hit the wrong shift. No! No! I 
If I could have kept going, that was going to look like Joe Nemechek at Nashville, kind of. Yeah, my driving isn't the greatest in this stream so far. I'll give you guys that. I need to need to focus more. Drivers, start your engines. Yeah, I have a shitty laptop I'm using to monitor the stream, and it I've noticed it kind of skips when I'm watching regular videos. That doesn't happen with my good computer. So when I see a little choppiness here and there on the preview, I can't tell if it's actually dropping frames or skipping out, or if it's just the laptop acting up, because a lot of times when I see the my preview laptop being choppy, I look over on OBS and it doesn't say I've dropped any frames. And I blew second gear there. Sorry guys, I know the car set isn't perfect. I'm having to recycle my makeshift 2017 Daytona 500 car set. So yes, I realize not every single driver in this race right now is exactly perfect to everyone that was in the race a few weeks ago. Sue me. Oh. Didn't mean to get spun all the way around. Alright, I need to just barely get tapped so I start flying head on, but not get spun around enough to where I can't bring it all the way back and start turning it towards the right. Ugh. And my instinct makes me want to turn the grip up a little bit more. But then that'll just slow me way down when I'm getting sideways and scrub off a lot of the needed speed for this wreck as I'm sliding towards the wall. This won't be that good of a recreation if I'm going like 10 miles an hour by the time I actually get to the wall at the right angle. Make some magic happen. The magic man. Now you see me, now you don't. That should have been my username for my fantasy series, Cal Naughton Jr. Ricky Bobby's too obvious. Well, aside from doing it way too late down the backstretch, having the wrong car spin me and spinning all the way around, that one was decent. <laughs> Basically every single detail being off except for the hit into the wall. Next. Alright, I need to make sure I get positioned a little better with whatever car I need to spin me in the turn. I'm not even going to be side by side, I just want him to kind of, whatever car turns me, kind of bump me. I'll try to lose control on my own towards the infield, enough to where I'm sliding sideways, but not so much to where I can't save it and bring it back around. After a couple more failed attempts, I might have to turn the grip up just a little bit more and try turning Truex Jr.'s stats up as well. Driving can be better this time. Shoot. 
I don't know why, but I'm still shifting with the directional pad. I'm not using the paddle shifters right now, that's why I keep messing up a shift every now and then. Oh, I started turning right a little too... a little too soon. Damn. Got a little cheap shot by Logano right at the end there. I was just starting to slide right here. But in order to try to save it, I started turning right a little too quickly. And that's what made me turn across the field. And just keep getting hit by everyone. Watch this cheap shot by Logano at the end right here. Bam! wonder if that was revenge for Martinsville, which was revenge for Kansas. Drivers, start your engines! Let's see if we have better luck this time. are going to check up for these turns and when. That's why I go a little slow into them. Ah, damn it. I tried just getting tapped by Kane. Trying to slide towards the inside on my own, but I didn't do it on the initial attempt. What am I missing? Are you guys arguing again? Jesus Christ, calm down guys. I don't want to have to invite any more guests to the block party. So let's just let's all just get along. Denny Hamlin 2013 Auto Club crash. I actually tried recently, like two streams ago, and I kept failing and I got angry, like I always do. Oh, trouble after getting four wide. Pretty skillful of me not to hit anyone else, though. Even though I have the grip, like, doubled what it should be. Alright, I'm gonna cause a big one of my own. If you think this is reckless, just wait till you see what's next. Man, they're all kind of spread out right here. I think I just barely clipped Almondinger. Almonding dong. Eh, wasn't as big as I wanted it to be. That's what she said. Alright, let's see what happened to Almondinger there. I missed mostly everyone. I didn't think they were going to be quite that spread out. Yeah, but it was definitely Almonding dong I got. It was drilled by Suarez, who got hit by. Dylan, 
who somehow was able to keep going. Just when Almendinger thinks his ride is over, he gets drilled by Boyer. Alright, next. Almond Ding Dong. Yeah, it can't be the only one that's heard that's heard that before, right? Still need to slowly, over the course of these streams, develop official nicknames for each one of the drivers. So Almond, I know it's not mine, but Almond Dinger is Almond Ding Dong. Joey Logano is the baby kangaroo. They just need to come naturally. I can't force any nicknames. They need to come to me as I think of them on the spot. Get the spin right. And you can tell the grip is turned up a little bit with that little two wheeled save I just did. Drivers, start your engines. See, now it looks like we're dropping frames, but it still doesn't say I've dropped a single one. Here, I'll show you. I don't know if anyone else is dropping frames, but. Doesn't say we've done any yet. Hold on. Hold on for a second. Why does it say we've only been streaming for 13 minutes? That's not good. Let me check my live control room. Alright, it says 39 minutes in here. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, I hope that wasn't a big issue for anyone. Maybe the stream cut out for a few moments 15 minutes ago and I just never noticed. Yes, we've been streaming for 39 minutes. That says only 15 in OBS. Now that I wasted that attempt, we will make something out of it. Auto Club Big One. Car stop, down low. That catch fence probably would have turned my car into Swiss cheese. Derp Gaming and Fresh Era Gaming. Get along or I'm putting both of you on timeout. If you're gonna act and talk like children, you're gonna get treated like one. Drivers, start your engines.
missed that shift. I got recovered. Jesus Christ. I knew this one was going to be a little harder than I thought it would be on the surface, but not this hard. Only hit first. I did not mean to hit first, but I accidentally hit first, but it worked out anyway. I see one card tumbling. Got one stopped up high. I saw one card tumbling. Make that two. Alright, pay attention, Cody. Drivers, start your engines! Man. I think Cody needs to find a fucking line. I think Fresh Gaming needs to get his fucking attitude in check. That's what I think needs to st start happening. You must be new to these streams if you think I take these 100% seriously. I am, after all, trying to cause a crash on purpose as the whole point of the video. I mean, like, you can only take that so much seriously. Alright, let's have Jimmy, I guess, try spinning me. What else is new? Yep, I didn't get going fast enough towards the wall that time. Initially, by the time I came back around, I already had enough momentum carrying me towards the outside wall. to where I didn't hit the inside. Like I said, act like a kid, you're gonna get treated like one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to re download Auto Club at some point. It's too late for this one. 45 minutes into this stream. I'll get a new auto club if I do another stream in the future. Cause another big one, shall we? I don't think the yellow came out yet. Whoa. Yay, track wall grip. Come on. Come on. Here comes the leader. The yellow flag is. 
That was a trick shot I just did with Jimmy. Jimmy and Logano. In turn one. I just nailed Jimmy right into Logano and he went flying. Here we'll get a close up view of this. Sent them both into the wall and upside down. Let's get one more view of that. Bam. He got nailed by Kozlowski. That's what actually sent him upside down. Alright, next. Drivers, start your engines! I got the scheme from Outlaw Graphics, I believe that's what it's called. I signed up and made an account about a week ago. Need to have someone rear end me or tap my rear bumper coming out of the turn, but not hard enough to where I get spun all the way around. Just to where I kind of start drifting and spinning towards the inside, but little off, little enough to where I can still correct it. What still needs to be a sharp enough angle to where I'm carrying a lot of speed towards that inside wall. Every failed attempt, I'm causing a big one. Yay, higher grip. You take the turns way faster than you normally could. Oh, I got Junior that time. I say Junior breakdancing. <laughs> All I saw was Junior breakdancing. Like we lost that motor. Hey! Stupid cats. Junior breakdancing. Insert some... Insert some hip-hop music. Calm down, you stupid moron! God. Stupid fucking idiot. Hey, I am Junior Nation. I was upset with myself that I wrecked him. So no one get angry at me. Uh, excuse me. Alright, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna get... Try to find a newer or just uh, re-download this version of Auto Club. I'm going to get a actual 2017 car set. One that I'm not using just for my uh, 2017 series. An actual car set. I know people on Stun Odd 
and racing graphics are always doing new Gen 6 cars basically on a daily basis. And then racing. All those awesome guys. And gals. Can't imagine there's too many girls though in the sim racing. Ugh. That was like the perfect amount of spin. I just didn't quite, wasn't quite able to save it and bring it back to the right. That was like the perfect amount of spin though. I just didn't have enough to save it. But do you see what I mean though? With that one wall opening? Like right here, I'm going nearly 160 so we're basically near realistic speed coming out of the turns. But by the time I hit the wall, this opening, this isn't the one that juts out. And if I spun late enough to hit this one, I feel like that would be way too far out of the turn compared to real life. So I think in Auto Club right now, there's a version where it kind of sticks out right here. Not in this, uh, that isn't in this version of the track. Scrolled the chat down. Find a full 2017 car set. I'm guessing Stunod, Racing Graphics, and then Racing, or just Google, if not one of those guys. No! Well, no. That's one way to flip at Auto Club. You got a flow car up high. That was completely accidental. Accidentally got into McMurray right there. Started to lose it. Tried to save it. Hit the apron. Overcorrected. And then got nailed by Almendinger. And Suarez, which sent me up and over. This one is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Because I want to be able to get... I don't want just want to turn left and go into the wall with the left side of my car. I want to actually be able to spin a little bit. But then slam on the brakes and bring it back. And start turning the car the other way, but still have that momentum carrying me into the wall. That shift. Well, I messed this attempt up. So I might as well just try to practice. Which is going to really piss me off if I get this one perfectly then, but I'm too far back in the field. Another hard crash. It was mostly accidental. 
in the middle. Three wide. Because they decided to make it four wide. Almost five wide. Stop it. Hit play. There we go. guys unfortunately got to get a couple things done today before I do some more streams later so I got to get going soon this will probably be my third to last attempt if you even want to call these attempts God knows this was a pretty disappointing stream Green, green. It's a little slow with those shifts, but at least I'm still towards the front. Well, that's going to be different. <laughs> My engine's still, like, fine after that. did what I was supposed to do with the pit road wall instead of the backstretch wall. Reenactment done. Yeah, I want to see a replay of this. I was trying to speed up to get a practice attempt with Dylan, but I hit Casey Kangoy, so I got held up, and we just got hooked together there, and I decided to see what would happen. Whoa, did anyone see Dylan? He got stuck in the wall. Hey, how's that for a save? Just keep driving. Man, what's up with Austin Dylan and getting stuck in walls slash fences? Alright, two more attempts. Before I get going to finish a couple chores I need to do and set up the streams for later today slash tomorrow. Thank you everyone that's watched this video or live stream whenever you're watching it. If you've been watching for the whole time or just a couple minutes, I appreciate the support from all you guys. If you don't mind hitting the like button if you've enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it. And we've had a good 40, 50, 60 people watching basically the whole time. That did look a little bit like the Steve Park incident, the way they got together and hit the wall. Obviously the walls can't break in this game, so it's basically as close as possible. Ooh. See, that's what I need to do coming out of the turn into the wall. Ugh, darn it. Thought I 
could save it. But I spun it a little too around a little too much. How about that save though? Even though the grip is kind of turned up. Man, I hit like right where that angle starts. Like right in the corner of where the wall starts to jut out. Last attempt. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. I'm trying to glance over at your suggestions as much as I can without staring off at my screen so I'm crashing even more than I already am. But if you guys have the time, if you guys want to come back to this video once it's done processing and post your comments for or suggestions for future videos in the comments, then you can thumbs up each other's suggestions so then I know which the most popular suggestions are so then I can know which ones to do next I mean I can watch my video back and like squint at the chat which is really hard to see at times but it's a lot easier for me to see your suggestions if you post them in the comments just a heads up for you guys That was lame. Alright. I am causing another big one. To end this video, I'm really upset with myself that I couldn't do better in this one, but I think I might need to re-download Auto Club because the AI still seem a little funky. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. It'd probably be fairly easy to do Mark Harmon's crash, but just not the damage, obviously. Here comes the leader. Well, now. That was an interesting wreck. have Larson coming right at us. Boom! How about that for a camera shot? It's like something you'd see in a NASCAR promo. Like right before the camera cuts away. Alright, one more look. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Holy crap. I didn't realize how hard Larson got into the catch fence there. Do a super slow-mo from Larson's chase view. He gets into the air from Ty Dillon. Then, yep, right into the catch fence. Jeez. That would have been a bad wreck. He was like through that pole. One more. Yeah, that one right there, he's like in through the fence. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in later, I will hopefully have the events posted shortly. I'll have a few hours notice for them, but I should be doing a couple streams later today. And that's about it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please hit the like button. Got some social media links down below for you guys to check out if you're interested. And until I see you next time, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Peace. Bye.